Hi everybody, my name is Kyle Patterson with Bryson Insurance and I am pleased to be joined today with Corette Miller from New Initiatives HR to talk to us all about some of the HR issues happening today as a result of the whole COVID-19 um, pandemic coming mm -hmm. across the world and now Canada and Ontario. So hi Corette, thank you for joining Kyle, me. Thank you, thanks for having me. Yeah, we're just going to jump right on in and ask a couple of questions that I know people have been having that uh, I know you can help us with. And today we're, we're going to talk about the human rights side of the conversation. And Kurt's going to join us for more conversation as we go forward. So the first question I have for you is, can an employer require an employee to advise if he or she has been diagnosed with COVID-19? Uh, awesome question. Um, I will just let you say too that um, a lot of the answers that I'm coming from or that I'm going to have is from me doing uh, connections with different law firms throughout Ontario because uh, this is an ever-changing world. The legislation is changing on a daily basis and how normal standard practices would be and what you're going to find mostly online when people go onto the normal resources uh, is not going to be the same. Uh, so, uh, from uh, the most recent articles that have come out from employment lawyers, the answer to that is yes. And normally, um, employers are not allowed um, to ask for any form of diagnosis. It's usually just a prognosis um, around a person's disability or health concerns when they are going on uh, any form of leave. Um, however, because of you know the COVID nineteen and and what's happening in our workplace, it is mandatory um, that they disclose. And that it's okay for an employer to share or ask. So there's not going to be a breach of privacy, basically. Uh, perfect. Thank you. Yeah, and I know that's outside the norm. And similar vein question. Uh, can an employer require that employees actually disclose or advise if they've been in close contact with someone who's been diagnosed with COVID-19? Yes, the employer uh, can definitely ask the employee to disclose if he's been in contact or diagnosed. For, uh, sure, it's so very similar again to the first question. Um, they're not breaching the privacy. Um, they can even say that they could be in a compromised position as well, so they don't have to then disclose what their existing condition is. So let's just, for example, say someone has severe uh, asthma. Right. And then, then they've been in a compromised position and due to my existing condition, I've been compromised and, and exposed. So therefore, they can disclose that they were in a compromising position and around someone COVID ID, but they don't have to disclose their existing condition. So. And then and same, just building off that, uh, I know most employers obviously know when their employees take vacations, uh, but how about an employee traveling outside of Canada right now? Do they have to uh, tell the employer? Yeah, um, and they have to tell the employer they've been outside of Canada, and specifically the law firms are also referring if they've been on a cruise ship uh, to okay. disclose that they've been on a cruise ship as well, um, and any stopovers, so even if they've had, you know, been flying anywhere, and if they've had a stopover, they have to disclose where they've had stopovers as well. So. Yeah. Okay. And they could end up being going into, and it's usually, everyone's using the within the last 14 days. I would suspect that those numbers would change, will change um, as we learn more about the virus, but that's the question that they are allowed to ask. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, final question for today, uh, mm -hmm. what about employees who you know, refuse to work just due to being fearful, fearful or concerned about contracting COVID-19 themselves? What are, yeah. What's the human right issue around that right now? So that, the, that's a, it's a crossover of human rights and actual occupational health and safety. Um, and, you know, because normally employees have a right, if they uh, have a fear, a bona fide reason to feel fear going into work um, of injury or illness. And it's usually a physical condition. Um, right now, that physical condition could be considered the workplace and the working place. So uh, they can refuse it. Um, they still have to have a bona fide reason. Um, and, uh, and then what the workplace does is they have to then do an investigation. So that's where the normal protocol would come into place um, into checking it, you know, double checking their refusal, investigating it and seeing if there is, you know, a, a, a qualifying reason as to why the person's fearful coming into work. Um, 
And then if there's a disagreement, then, you know, there's also the Ministry of Labor to be able to come in and help them through that investigation. Hmm, but I guess in this, in where we are right now in this situation, they're probably overwhelmed uh, as well, going through all their own struggles and challenges. So uh, yeah, it's probably are. not very easy to go through that, that uh, channel right now. Yeah. The thing is, is definitely is to ensure like, you know, if, if you've been in contact or someone in your home has, and someone's just returned from home. Um, but I am getting requests where clients are phoning me saying that they've had an employee away. So other employees are refusing to come into work because that employee's been away. However, that employee has been asked to stay at home, self-isolation. So therefore, you know, that doesn't justify as a fear for not coming into work because you've had a coworker away. Because right. All, all employers are putting in that guideline to stay at home and do the self isolation. So yeah, I'm one of those people. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Well, thanks for thanks for jumping on and answering some questions today. Uh, you're a great resource to all of our clients in our community as well. And um, you know, if anybody listening to this has additional questions, feel free to reach out to myself and I can connect you with Corette, or we can answer it in a future uh, session like this. So thanks, Corette. Have a great day. And thanks, Kyle. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.